suffering in this world stems. I have the my favorited system set up so that I can't drop maps that are not favorited. Come on now. Big drop from this. You must have just come in right after. Two maps ago, I dropped a mirror shard and an apothecary in the same map. I'd say I'd say that's gonna qualify for uh, big map drops. Uh, so yes, is <laughs> the answer to your question. A definitive yes. Uh, very recently. And, uh, you know, this is my third day. This sh I should be I should be able to conclude the farming session. This is 50 of these maps takes a while to do. And since I'm busy with, like, full-time job, working and stuff, I just can't do them all. Actually, it would take, like, 12 hours to do all of them in one day. So, uh, uh, anyway. Last night, as part of the second session, I dropped a corrupted mage blood. And fortunately, it rolled the worst way possible, but presumably still worth something like 80 or 90 exalts, I guess. It's kind of hard to say, but uh, you're just kind of checking out the market on it. looks like it's still worth, clearly worth something. <laughs> This build has 65 magic find in it, that's the most amazing part. This thing's getting totally carried by Headhunter, by the way. Uh, but Headhunter lost all of its speed, so my speed is coming from, well, shrines occasionally, but uh, more reliably uh, going raider. With all the raider speed stuff and uh, prioritizing speed on the uh, passive skills, prioritizing speed on the gear. Like, I'm actually thinking about dropping my magic find boots just for much higher quality speed boots. I don't think I'm gonna do it, but honestly, considering it. build is also like three mirrors in gear right now. So, I mean, you're looking at a tri triple mirror build. Not that, like, the mirrors totally enable it. I would still be at least 50% as, as effective uh, if I had zero mirrors invested in this build. Merciless Prophecy Wand, that's huge. So, so... If you're if you're looking at this right now, go on trade and look up the value of a clean magic merciless prophecy wand. Like the fact that it has a suffix doesn't matter, although that looks like it might be a really good suffix actually. Uh, and you're gonna see this uh, this wand. First of all, it probably it might not even be really up any up, but if you check offline and you try to filter through some of the price fixers, you're gonna see this wand is. 
easily 1x. Because it is the physical wand base. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that is the base for uh, Kinetic Blast. Like the best Kinetic Blast. I think we got a Dictator's Thicket Bow right here. Uh, next to me, Dictator's Thicket Bow. Dictator any bow actually is worth like 1x at least. And then uh, Thicket Bow would be one of the better ones, although people are kind of dumb for trying to make physical Thicket Bows. But I mean, people do it, so... Gonna have some... Perfect. Just my fifth, my fifth league, so everybody starts somewhere. I also only started streaming back in November. And man, this uh, well, YouTube channel really took off quite a bit. Stream not quite so much. Because I don't actually stream as much as I could or should. The YouTube channel is more easy to, much more easy to manage time efficiently with a full time job. But I am, I am considering, very much considering the possibility of going part-time work, part-time content creator. Merciless bow, also worth, if not 1x, very close to it. Yeah, the wand's 3x, I get it, it's surprising. It's a very lucky find because it's, uh, first of all, a merciless roll is extremely rare. So here is another one Magister's Imbued Wand. So, Magister's roll on wands are worth like 30 or 40 chaos, except if it's on an Imbued Wand, which is the number one base for that, and that's worth basically 1x. Uh, the Magister roll is not super rare. Merciless roll is, and Dictator rolls are much more rare than Magister roll, uh, I think. But uh, yeah, Magister is still really good. Should even got another one here. Opal Scepter of Dissolution. It's kind of borderline. I think it's like 50 or 60 chaos on, on that base. I had sold a few of those for like 1x a while back, but they, the market's very inactive on it, so. Uh, I had sold a couple of voids. Now, this is another big find. Wow, this, this is honestly one of the best uh, runs I've ever seen on um, Recombinator bases. This is another 1 to 2x. Um, no, sorry, Pr probably like 0.8x to 1x uh, Scepter, Magister, random Scepter base, doesn't matter what it is. Um, people are trying to recombinate those for Righteous Fire wands, or Righteous Fire Scepters. Um, with it being such an extremely uh, popular build this league, that's... Well, there's a couple things people are looking for. They they do want to find they they do hope to find the base, like the actual base they want to craft on. But keep in mind, you know, they're not expecting necessarily to uh, recombinate something with with only the right base. You know, they they can certainly meet halfway <laughs> at the top. You know, as long as by the very end, why did I get another dragon tart? Jesus Christ, man. By the end, they want to hit the right base, obviously. But early on in the process of recombinating, especially very early on, it's not that big of a deal. Most people like to have at least uh, at least one of the two recombinations uh, be the right base, though. So it definitely adds a ton of value. I must have found at least 10 exalts in this map just from 
Recombinator base. A dictator, stick it though. I, that, I guarantee that's worth probably like one or two X. Absolutely bananas. How much stuff that I found in here. for the next few maps. I may get cucked on finishing this, these runs tonight on account of not having a place to... on account of having to take time out and clean out my dump tabs. <laughs> kind of sad. Sad state of affairs. Wow, oh my god. Another big find. Spine bows are the number one physical bow, and even though flaring is the least valuable of the three major physical prefixes, it is on the f on the spine bow, it's still worth like 1x on that particular base. That's, an ex that's a perfect example of like, I decided I would... Uh, set up my loot filter so that it basically, you know, if, if if the category of items, like, like say, bows in general, if the category of items on any particular item, I drop a bow and it has a tier one flat physical and I see that on a random bow, that's only like 10 chaos, I, I don't want to see that. But then there are a few... Uh, very specific bases where that's not what you see. It's actually a lot more valuable and that's particularly true for Imperial Claws, Opal Scepters, Void Scepters, Thicket Bows, Spine Bows, Judgment Staffs, um, I'm not, honestly not even sure which dagger it is. Oh, the daggers aren't that popular I guess. A few other things. Yeah, I mean, th this bow is literally like soup. I mean, even. My god, I actually rolled a tier 2 glo global crit multi. <laughs> Although that's actually not that good for this bow. Crit chance would be a lot better. Uh, that's absolutely insane, though. I mean, that that's easily 10 exalts. Across like six different items, that's 10 exalts. Did I even show this one? Merciless Assassin? But I think I, think I, sh I showcased that one earlier, yeah. Merciless assassin bow, another uh, that assassin bow is nothing special, but merciless bow, any kind of bow base, is again about one x. I, I think if you search online, you're gonna see some price fixers there, but uh, yeah, trust me when I say the real value of that is at least one x. Like I, I know for a fact on that one because I crafted those off and on all the. Honestly, I should probably save this run as a showcase for. Hello. <laughs> what you, what kind of shit you could get if you run this cloak? Because I wouldn't have found any of that stuff if I didn't run this cloak. Absolutely nuts. <laughs> 